looking for creative ways to practice. And one of the things uh, we have, I have a nice wood floor in, in our living room. And if you if you uh, put some lemon pledge on it, you really can slide. But uh, I'm practicing going under the ball a lot of times. So young kids, you, know, you teach them how to go over the ball. You, know, you say topspin, they might not understand, or underspin, or slice, they might not understand. But they should. If you put a wheel, you have a wheel, they'll sure get the idea of going over the ball, or they'll get the idea of going under the wheel like this, going under, over the ball, and under it, and getting spinning. It's amazing how young they, they love spinning wheels. It's a great creative way to do it. It's also a good way for me to practice. In my house, practicing underhand, you know, going practicing, and see, it's a, it's fun to practice. I can go both ways, backhand or forehand. I can move around the ball, and then go backhand, slide around. It's a great way to practice going under. You know, you know so when you think about it, it, could be like you're getting down for a volley, or like a drop shot, practicing the same, uh, going under the ball like this, sliding around on the floor, practice forehand. And you're going under, just do a great way of practicing. And then after I get done, I probably can push through the ball a few times. It's a fun way to practice. And so, creative device uh, that uh, is fun to practice winter uh, tennis at home in the winter.